Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number, chapter number one, that is characteristics and life processes of organisms. Today I will deliver its ninth lecture and in today's lecture what we will do is we will study about the classification of plants. Previous lectures may we were discussing about the classification of animals. Today we will discuss about plants. Similarities among the flowering and non-flowering plants. So my dear students, as you have seen in previous lectures, how we have classified animals ko classify kiya among vertebrates and invertebrates. Then we have studied their similarities in the first lecture. Mein unki and in the next lecture, we discuss about the differences between uh, vertebrates and invertebrates. Today, uh, we will discuss about the classification of plants. And the cla they are classified as flowering and non-flowering plants. Or aaj hum un dono ki kya similarities hai, we will discuss about that. So my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the recap first. So in the previous lecture, as you know, we were discussed about the differences among the vertebrates and invertebrates. So quickly tell me what are differences among vertebrates and invertebrates on the basis of movement, body shape, size, skeleton and backbone. So in invertebrates, there is no proper mode of movement, whereas in vertebrates, there is proper mode of movement present. Iske alawa, jo body structure hota hai inka, um, the vertebrates have well-developed organs and well-developed body, whereas invertebrates do not have well-developed organs and body. Next is uh, the invertebrates have no backbone, vertebrates have a backbone. Uh, invertebrates have an exoskeleton, whereas invertebrates have endo-inside skeleton. So these are the differences between vertebrates and invertebrates. I hope you remember them all. So my dear students, ab aage chalte hain and let's move forward towards an activity. So for this activity, look, look at the pictures very carefully. Aapko kuch flowers ki pictures nazar aari hain. This is a sunflower. And in the next picture, this is a money plant. Aur aapko pata hai ke uske upar, jo money plant hai, uske upar flowers nahi lagte. So in this way, we can say this is a flowering plant. And this is a non-flowering plant which do not have flowers on it. Okay. So my dear students, what are flowering plants? Any plant which bear flowers on it, just keep a pool like they have, that is a flowering plant. So, what are non flowering plants? Just keep a pool nahi lagte. So, simple. So, that are non flowering plants. So, my dear students, name some flowering plants you know sunflower, roses, tulips, hibiscus. These all are flowering plants. So, can you name some of the non flowering plants? आप कभी सोच के बताएं कि आप कभी मरी गए हैं? गए हैं? Okay, now quickly think and tell me कि आपने वहाँ pine trees देखे हैं? देयार के दरख, देवदार के दरख देखे हैं कभी? They are called the pine trees. They are non-flowering. सबसे best example है वो non-flowering plants की क्योंकि उसके ऊपर कोई फूल नहीं लगते. So my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards today's student learning outcome. So by the end of today's lecture, all the students will be able to classify plants in terms of flowering and non-flowering with examples. Up examples we they paenge, and you will also be able to analyze the differences and similarities. So today we will discuss about only similarities in flowering and non-flowering plants. So first of all, kya hai kya classification hai plants ki flowering and non-flowering. We will give examples of them and then we will discuss about the similarities of flowering and non-flowering plants. So my dear students, now let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective here. So Allah says in Quran, it is he who spread the earth for you and made it in parts for you and sent down water from the sky and then through it we brought, brought forth many species of diverse plants. So my dear students, is ayat se kitna vaze ho raha hai ki Allah Ta'ala ne asman se barish par saai aur barish se jo hai Allah Ta'ala ne bhoat saare podhe ho gai. Lekin wo jo podhe hai, they are diverse. They are so much of different kinds. So isi liye hum ne unko categorize kar diya, unko classify kar diya, group kar diya into flowering and non-flowering. So my dear students, from here let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading question. So quickly listen to the question very carefully and then answer. Let's quickly move forward towards the reading first. Okay, my dear students, what similarities do you see among flowering and non-flowering plants? 
कोई सिमिलैरिटीज क्या आपको नजर आती है फ्लारिंग या नॉन फ्लारिंग प्लांट्स में uh, दोनों के लीव्स होते हैं दोनों में स्टेम भी होता है दोनों की रूट्स भी होती हैं दोनों जमीन से उगते हैं सो दीज आर ऑल द सिमिलैरिटीज अमंग द प्लांट्स लेकिन इसके अलावा इनके अंदर डिफरेंस भी डिफरेंसेस भी बहुत सारे हैं जो कि हम नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में डिस्कस करेंगे आज सिर्फ हम सिमिलैरिटीज पे फोकस करेंगे सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज ओपन पेज नंबर 11 इन योर साइंस फोर बुक्स I hope everybody has opened the page. So, my dear students, let's quickly start the reading. I request you all to put your fingers where I will read. Classification of plants. Plants have a wide variety of sizes, shapes, colors, habitats, and ways of reproduction. Therefore, they are classified in many ways. One of the ways to classify plants, and on the basis of the presence of flowers, that is flowering, and नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट दैट मीन्स विच टू नॉट हैव फ्लॉर्स सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स क्योंकि मैंने आपको पहले बताया था कि हम लिविंग थिंग्स को क्लासीफाई इसलिए करते हैं ताकि हम उनको ईजीली स्टडी करें सबसे पहले हमने लिविंग थिंग्स को क्लासीफाई किया एनिमल्स में और प्लांट्स में उसके बाद हमने एनिमल्स को क्लासीफाई किया वर्टी ब्रिड्स में और इन वर्टी ब्रिड्स में नेक्स्ट वी क्लासीफाइड प्लांट्स इन टू फ्लॉरिंग एंड नॉन फ्लॉरिंग सो ताकि हम इनको ईजीली स्टडी कर सकें और हमने एक जैसी चीजों को एक ग्रुप में डाल दिया और बाकी एक जैसी को दूसरे ग्रुप में डाल दिया सो so, हमने प्लांट्स को किस बेसिस पे हम क्लासिफाई कर रहे हैं सम हैव फ्लावर्स वाइल अदर्स व्हिच डू नॉट हैव फ्लावर्स दे आर नॉन फ्लॉरिंग ठीक है इस तरीके से हम इनको ग्रुप करें सो नाउ लेट्स फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स जिनके ऊपर फ्लावर्स होते हैं विच बेयर फ्लावर्स ओके ओके स्टार्ट रीडिंग विद मी फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स द प्लांट्स दैट प्रोड्यूस फ्लावर्स at a certain point during their life cycle is called flowering plants a flower is a reproductive part of the plant which produces seeds flowering plants are also called angiosperms it is the largest group of plants examples include maize some flower roses and most of the fruit plants सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स ऐसे पौधे होते हैं जिनके ऊपर फूल लगते हैं उनकी लाइफ साइकिल में उनकी जिंदगी में किसी भी दौरान उनके ऊपर जब फूल लगते हैं सो दैट मीन्स दे आर फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स देन द फ्लावर्स आर द रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन ऑफ द प्लांट सो बिकॉज दे मेक सीड्स दे मेक फ्रूट्स सो दैट इज वाई दे आर द रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन ओके क्योंकि इन्हीं से दोबारा जो है सीड्स प्रोड्यूस होने के बाद नए प्लांट्स ग्रो करते हैं सो दिस मीन्स दे आर द रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन और इन्हीं के अंदर मेल और फीमेल ऑर्गन जो है वो प्रेजेंट होते हैं नेक्स्ट थिंग ये सबसे बड़ा ग्रुप है प्लांट्स का ठीक है इट इज द बिगर ग्रुप ये नॉन फ्लॉरिंग से भी बड़ा ग्रुप है और इसकी एग्जाम्पल्स कौन कौन सी हैं मेज सनफ्लावर और जितने भी तकरीबन फ्रूट्स हैं दे ऑल आर दे आर इंक्लूडेड इन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स नाउ डिस्कस लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स ओके ओके अगेन रीड विद मी इट इज ऑन पेज नंबर ट्वेल्व non flowering plants the plants that do not produce flowers at certain at any stage of their life cycle are called non flowering plants some of the non flowering plants bear naked seeds they are called gymnosperms non flowering plants reproduce through spores examples are mosses ferns and conifers ferous plants सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स जो नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स होते हैं इनके ऊपर इनकी लाइफ साइकिल में यानी कि इनकी जिंदगी में कभी भी फूल नहीं लगते और इनके जो सीड्स होते हैं वो नेकेड होते हैं यानी कि उनके ऊपर शेल नहीं होता नेक्स्ट एज दे ऑफन ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस थ्रू स्पोर्स यानी कि इनके ऊपर सीड्स नहीं होते इनके अंदर स्पोर्स बनते हैं जो कि इनके लीव्स के नीचे लगते हैं ये उनकी मदद से जो है वो रिप्रोड्यूस uh, करते हैं और इनकी एग्जाम्पल्स क्या हैं मोजेज फर्नस दीज आर द शॉर्टर प्लांट्स और बड़े प्लांट्स में इनकी एग्जाम्पल है कॉनीफेरस ट्रीज जो कि पाइन ट्री की मैंने आपको एग्जाम्पल दी थी और इस तरह के प्लांट्स को नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स को जिम्नोस्पर्म्स भी कहा जाता है जैसे कि नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स को एनजियोस्पर्म नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स आर कॉल्ड जिम्नोस्पर्म्स कीप दिस दिस इन माइंड ओके नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द सिमिलैरिटीज ऑफ फ्लॉरिंग एंड नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स ओके रीड विद मी अगेन सिमिलैरिटीज अमंग flowering and non flowering plants being members of a larger group named plant flowering and non flowering plants possess some similarities features such as 
क्योंकि दोनों ही प्लांट ग्रुप से ताल्लुक रखते हैं तो इस वजह से इनके अंदर सिमिलैरिटीज है दोनों ग्रुप्स के अंदर क्या है रूट्स भी हैं स्टेम भी है और लीव्स भी हैं मेंबर्स ऑफ बोथ ग्रुप्स रिप्रोड्यूस दोनों के अंदर रिप्रोडक्शन का प्रोसेस होता है लेकिन द प्रोसेस इज चेंज लेकिन रिप्रोडक्शन होती है All flowering plants and some of the non-flowering plants have seeds. ठीक है जितने भी flowering plants हैं और कुछ non-flowering plants के अंदर seeds होते हैं Members of both groups prepare their food by photosynthesis. और दोनों जो groups हैं इनके अंदर जो food making process होता है जिससे इनको energy मिलती है that happens through photosynthesis. दोनों में process जो है वो photosynthesis का same है So my dear students, these are the similarities among flowering and non-flowering plants. So let's quickly recap it. Classification क्या है? Flowering and non-flowering है plants की. Then let's discuss about flowering plants. Flowering plants जो हैं इनके अंदर फूल लगते हैं. They reproduce इनका reproductive organ जो है वो flower है. इनके अंदर seeds होते हैं. और ये largest group है. So maize, sunflower, these are the examples of flowering plants. Then comes non flower. These are some other examples of uh, flowering plants, roses, periwinkle, then comes the daisies and most, most rose. Okay. Now, now comes the non flowering plants. Ye flowers ki through produce, reproduce nahi karte. In ke the spores hote hai, in ke seeds naked hote hai. Or in ke examples hai ferns, moses and coniferous trees. So these are ferns, moses and ferns. This is the coniferous tree. And these are uh, tahuja plant. These are also non-flowering plants. So my dear students, uh, similarities kya hai dono ke darmiyan mein? Let's have a look. So, kyunki dono hi plant group se taluk rakhte hai. So, having both have roots, stems and leaves. Both reproduce. Both have, both have seeds. And both have photosynthesis process in them for making of food. Okay, so these are the similarities of flowerings and non-flowering plants. Okay, my dear students, now is the time for evaluation. Quickly, uh, tell me what are flowering plants, which bear flowers, very good. What are non-flowering plants, which do not bear flowers at any stage of their life. Next is, what are the similarities among flowering and non-flowering plants? Both have root, stem, leaves. Okay, next is, both have photosynthesis process in them. And next is, both have seeds. Yani ki flowering plants mein to seeds hamesha hote hain, but some of the non-flowering plants also have seeds in them. So my dear students, now is the time for practice. For practice, you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So my dear students, write down your name and your roll number and then complete the worksheet. Tell me what are the flowering plants, give their example. What are non-flowering plants, then again give example. You can take help from the book also. Then write the name of the following plants in correct form that what are they? Most, they are non-flowering, daisies, flowering, pine tree, non-flowering, ferns, non-flowering, tulip, flowering, sunflower, flowering, snake plant, non-flowering, rose, flowering, conifer, non-flowering, orchards, flowering. So now write down the similarities of flowering and non-flowering plants here, okay? Or you can write their names here. You, okay, you have to write their names here in the column. So my dear students, now is the time for homework. For homework, what you need to do is you do, you will do question number three from section B on page number 23. So question three from section B, classify plants on the basis of, on the presence of flowers. Okay? So you have to classify them among flowering and non-flowering plants. And you will give them the definition of the example. So my dear students, now is the time for wrap up. So what have we learned today? Today we have learned that flowering plants produce plants, produce uh, plants in their, uh, produce flowers, sorry. In their life cycle, also known as angiosperms, non-flowering plants do not produce flowers, are also known as gymnosperms. Similarities, both have stem, roots and leaves, both reproduce and both have seeds. Both produce their food by photosynthesis. So, my dear students, this is it. Today you have classified plants into them, um, two groups, flowering and non-flowering, and then you discuss their 
similarities also. So I hope you have understood it. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much. And Allah Hafiz.